the Bronx River Arts Center hosted one of their pop-up exhibitions titled Work in Progress. This is the second part of the series which was held at the new culture venue Rex Hall in the Arth Avenue section of the Bronx. The holiday show provided visual and performing art uniquely put together by the talented artist. The first thing that inspired me and inspired to ask artists to come and see the space and be inspired was the space itself. And space, as you know, to work, for artists to work, is a premium these days. And when I saw this space, I said, I don't want to just do an exhibition. I want to let the artists come here and work. That they can, a lot of artists don't have more than a bedroom anymore to work in. And I wanted them to be able to have the opportunity to take their creative juices and push it to a new height, literally and figuratively. I mean, it's just the ceilings are so high, the space is so wide um, that they could they could really push it. And a lot of artists did. This was a great, great crowd. It's great for the community. It's an outlet for art. Uh, this is done around the city. I've seen this done on Governor's Island. I've seen it done uh, on City Island, but I've never seen it done here on Arthur Avenue. The space is magnificent. The idea is terrific. And it gives it, uh, it gives artists an outlet to apply their craft. Laura Kay had the main stage with her visual art performance and described the meaning behind the abstract piece. The piece is called Alquera. It's uh, the Australian Aboriginal term for a dream time uh, or a, a non-material reality that's equivalent, if not superior, than ours. Um, so it's about the unconscious, about the idea that we have like certain knowledge and uh, archetypes that are descended through our genes and not necessarily accumulated or learnt uh, in our individual life. We work with uh, light and it's kind of just building, building small worlds and trying to build like an encompassing experience for people, mostly to go inside themselves rather than it being about the outer world is like more of a reflection again of the conscious or like unconscious thoughts. Other artists work brought guests together to experience their pieces hands-on. I call it the Lego mandala. Tibetan Buddhist philosophy and um, the Tibetan sand mandalas or mandalas people call them. Um, it's just a practice of um, a non-attachment to uh, material reality and I felt like it's something that people in our culture could use some more of and uh, so I decided to contemporize the concept by using Lego and also to soften the blow of you know destroying a beautiful piece of work by making it a game you know something in, that's transformative rather than just the dissolution of all the sand into the emptiness of the universe which is kind of heavy. Well what I've been doing is um, I make loose leaf tea and I use these special tea sacks and I dry them out after I've made the tea and then I iron them flat and they become these tea notes and for the past 10 years I've been putting all these stories together like when I'm, people come inside the house they sit and they drink and then I ask them to write down either a story about tea and since I moved to the Bronx three years ago it's I've also been collecting stories about the Bronx because I I'm originally from Brooklyn and had lived in Manhattan and I had never considered living in the Bronx before and I just kind of ended up here and it's been a real learning experience for me. The exhibit turned into a party with a live performance by the 50s inspired rock and roll group Just Nuts, putting everyone in a merry mood. After six long years, the Bronx River Arts Center will no longer have any pop-up spaces because they have finally found a home on West Farms Road. For more information on the exact location, log on to their website. For BronxNet, I'm Veronica Guiti.